Yeah, morning, folks. Um, quick New York video here. Uh, just going to go and have a look, uh, see what's coming up. <coughs> um, we have April 28th. Mercury goes into Gemini. So, and this will be a, um, oh yeah, there's going to be some energy here. Uh, this, this is a new way to look at the planet watcher. It tells you every day what, like each week, what the next biggest aspects are without having to go through the, um, uh, fast forward on the Zodiac chart, uh, this will just tell you right away what's 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 going to happen. So you just you don't even need to know about astrology. You just see something like where the uh, cursor is. Uh, any of this will mean there's going to be energy. So a moon. Um, you can try to figure out which way the moon is going to go, um, but that takes 20 years to master uh, that. So go ahead, fill your boots if you want. Um, I only know one person that's almost perfected it, but he has not mastered it, and he's been doing it for 20 years. Um, so, and, and because it's dynamic, there's always a problem. So, there's so many different ways to do this. What, one of the ways is you can get the Prime Minister's birthday, date of birth, natal birth chart, and you tie it to the collective chart uh, for the day and if it's positive then let's say it was Trudeau uh, if he was having a positive day in his natal chart relative to the collective chart uh, you would expect the Canadian dollar to go up uh, that is the best way to do it but it's extremely hard because you, you've got always got a good versus evil um, in in every path that opens within uh, our daily scripture um, so you you have to be able to forecast what he's going to do and, and, and you can do it you know you you know right away whether the energy is good or, or bad but then you've got to tie that and check check at the same day the Swiss for instance and maybe he's having a better uh, day. Trudeau um, this and then you can see the US right and then Biden will have a different day uh, an even better day and then now you've got the US that's stronger uh, but that's how people are read doing the currencies properly by reading um, uh, the astrology and again it, it shows you how dynamic it is and why you can't just set up an EA a robot to run this uh, because they change the president or the prime minister, and, w and when they change him, the game changes because he has a totally different astrological chart. Um, but if anyone wants to go ahead and fill their boots and spend 20, 30 years working on that, by all means, go ahead. You will learn um, uh, more information, and it will help you out more than you could ever imagine. Uh, so we're expecting basically energy on the 28th slash 29th slash 30th. Uh, so this could be a change of energy. There may be a change of mood. Uh, what I am thinking is this is going to be a... Uh, <coughs> you, you see, Gemini is a two-face, right? And... We know that the yen is the dominator at the moment. So I'm thinking that this yen move is just a uh, pullback. I don't want to speculate. Uh, we'll just do what we're told that day based on the numbers. But I'm leaning towards the idea that this means it's a fake uh, move down. Um, dollar is still strong and holding up. There's several other reasons which I'll get to. Close that. We'll 
pull this up here. Um, I think there was something else I wanted to show you guys. Oh, yeah, of course there was. Uh, another thing on top of that is these guys, uh, my favorite go-to mainstream um, uh, trader uh, who is always wrong um, since I've been following him for 15 years. Well, since 2006, I've been following this guy. <clears throat> he's, he's got maybe two trades right, I think, in that time. Um so what his job is, he, he works for Daily FX. Uh, Daily FX is owned and operated by IG. Uh, it was FXCM. Uh, I don't need to bore you with all that, but obviously IG slash FXCM is a federal government operation. Uh, they do not have your uh, best in uh, best uh, interests uh, in mind. Uh, they want you to lose. They do not want you to be free. So they want you to steal all your money. Okay. They want you to be wrong. So his job is to sell uh, a, a trade. So he's calling for, he's, he's building up a, a negative dollar, a dollar sentiment here um, in the dollar yen. I know a lot of people have been trying to buy pound dollar and according to our calculations, pound dollar has never been a buy, not once this week. Uh, it was never mentioned. We've only been discussing trying to be short sure, the pound um, and the euro. Uh, there is the pound. Oh, hang on. Oh, Christ. Moved in here. Uh, it's down. So let me move all this over here. So, yeah, what, what I'm getting at, it's a federal government operation or uh Jesuit operation it doesn't matter whatever your perspective is um, because they own they own them right they own the finances they loan these people the money banks are owned by the government the government's owned by the Jesuits and ultimately the Jesuits are controlled owned and operated uh, and controlled remotely by the Sun uh, this man is being controlled by the Sun that's why they have the orange uh, in here uh, or gold color gold is the Sun uh, XAU number 88 uh, is the Sun this guy is uh, lying to us whether he knows it or not who knows it's not our job to speculate it's not his interest to be correct uh, to have us being correct so we'll bear that in mind uh, and we'll look for more folks which are discussing a dollar down Uh, hawkish versus no hangs in reverse or how to trade natural gas so do the opposite what to have a watch of that and do the opposite um, I haven't watched it though. Um, this guy is probably telling you I don't know go and watch them yourselves go I'm sure they're gonna be creating a uh, bearish dollar sentiment so how do we go and find a reason with, from our perspective that this is uh, a fallacy well oh, I'm still trying to get the uh, weekly um, numbers uh, here um, where it says weekly here um, I, I've had no luck finding it this week and when I change the numbers from 1440, it doesn't work. So if anyone can figure out where the hell that is, uh, message me on um, the uh, uh, Rumble uh, comments there. Uh, please, please, that would be appreciated. Um, right off the bat, yen still the dominator, pound is the weakest, and dollar is the strongest. Okay. New Zealand somewhere in the middle. Uh, we were working on pound New Zealand uh, and Euro New Zealand last night. We are now out of those trades uh, for a profit. Uh, we did buy New Zealand Swiss. That did not work out. Uh, I did say set a tight target if you're going to counter trend uh, that. And that profited, but then by the time I came there in New York, it was at a loss. I had to close it. The New Zealand Swiss is gone. Why is the New Zealand Swiss 
uh, not working. Well, it's simple uh, here, guys. Uh, we can see right here from the weekly perspective, this is the weekly open line that Swiss is strong. Last night it was here. Dollar was strong. Pound was weak. Um, Euro was weak relative to the weekly. Eyes are on the weekly now, right? So we were here last night for pound. It was weak. We were here for Euro. It was weak. We were here for CAD. It's relatively strong. Okay. We were here for Swiss. It's weak. We were here <coughs> uh, for Aussie. Down here, it's weak. And we were here for um, New Zealand. So it was showing us some strength. Hence why I wanted to be um, on the long side of New Zealand. But the long side of New Zealand against the uh, uh, Swiss or the CAD or the dollar uh, would not have worked, uh, obviously, because New Zealand was not the dominator. I was hoping that it was by seeing those numbers change. Uh, however, they only were able to change on the daily, and I fell victim to overlooking that weekly we must not do that because for, for the hundredth time these people operate on a different time paradigm than us they will take the largest time paradigm they can possibly take because that's the one that's moving that, that's the overall cycle the rest of it is just cycles within cycles okay so this is why we were there was no not once a mention at all of pound dollar buy this week. So a lot of people must have lost a lot of money this week. Uh, it's telling you right here that dollar's strong. It's telling you right here that euro is weak. Uh, this, is, this is on an index perspective. So if we look at it from a, a, on a dominating currency perspective, um, did pound ever tell you to buy pound dollar uh, weak? And dollar is closer to here, so no. Um, CAD is stronger, it's pulled up here. Um, so if we look at the LFX, the dominator, we can see that CAD is stronger than the dominator. Right? So imagine the dominator being the zero line here at the zero in the middle. Right? And that would be the equivalent of that on a weekly, that thick line, right? Uh, if this, if this said weekly. So we're we're, ha we're cre having to create our own weekly board uh, by using the charts, um, because we can't just do it on. We we need that weekly perspective, not just the daily perspective. Given what I've just said. Um, Relative to the uh, LFX, New Zealand is stronger. Look, it's pulled back into the weekly um, grey area, uh, medium price, and LFX is not. Um, Aussie as well, a little closer. Pound is definitely the weakest. Euro is definitely the second uh, weakest. Uh, it, at this same time, we've got Swiss holding, dropping, and it's, is this as, yeah, so I mean, LFX, Swiss is, is, is pretty weak. So this may float around in shop until finally it picks up its, its, its move. Uh, I don't know if we're going up or down. At this point, a gun to my head, I'm going to have to say, up because relative to the rest of the currencies it's up so I'm going to go with that one rather than just the dominating one but because it's a question I'm not going to do the Swiss I'm going to stay out of the Swiss however the pound Swiss shorts have been working um, just by following this so New Zealand is my my plan um, for a buy um, dollar 
will still be long. So we will not be taking New Zealand uh, dollar. Um, pound, the question is, has it fallen too far? Uh, what's going to happen? Well, it's telling us right now that it is the weakest. So this move still has to play out. So if it stops now for the New York close and goes all the way through Asia, and does, it might just expect fake moves up, accumulation, and down one more time until we see something new happen. Um, you know what I mean? Because it, it has dropped the most compared to everything else. So we're trying to remember like what we did with New Zealand yesterday. We saw that it was the weakest, dropping the biggest moves like the pound is. Um, no, because the pound's here, 800 nights. The pound is clearly doing the biggest down moves. Um, New Zealand all of a sudden stopped doing that when it was the weakest. And, and that's what showed us its, its proof of strength. Um, so we're going to stay short pound. And uh, I think a pound dollar would be good. Um, I don't like buying dollar yen because of this, the fact that the, the dollar, uh, the, the LFX is in a down, um, down model at the moment, but it's still in an underlying up and the fundamentals for the Jap Japan printing the money is telling us they're going to carry on. So maybe this is just a fake move and it will go up. Uh, if that happens, that's going to give strength to the pound eventually. But pound will be lagging behind the rest of them, meaning we can stay short pound uh, dollar, for, for example. But as, so, so if we, what we'd be expect is a huge move up here and a smaller move up here. If that happens, then that's cool. We carry on with the short pound dollar. Um, but what we, we're likely to see is we're likely to see a move up, a uh, dollar bigger move up, then finally at some point during the week when, when we have that trans change of energies, we may uh, get a um, increase in pound move and a decrease in dollar move relative to this LFX. If we see that, then we know they're ending the pound down move. Uh, right, for now, short term. And then they may want to come back up and test the, uh, the weekly level. Because this weekly level may need to be re revalidated. We don't know. I mean, some of the other currencies have, but we're not going to speculate and buy pound yen yet until we see all of this, sh this shit come to fruition. Uh, until, na until then, we simply remain... Uh, with a long uh, New Zealand long dollar, um, maybe a long CAD um, idea. Uh, it is doing better relative to the weekly than the rest of them. We see this test here. If this does pull back, CAD will be a good option. Uh, so a pound CAD short uh, would work. Um, a New Zealand CAD buy is not good, um, and maybe we could do a Euro CAD short, um, yeah, and that would allow for, because we know this is going to explode more than this on the first initial move, because this is what we see right at this time. This still has to play out. So you're going to have to be patient and run it through Asia, uh, large stop, just sell uh, false moves or buy false moves, whatever the hell you're doing. Uh, be patient, let it play out, and uh, and uh, and take your profit. And that's it. Um, yeah. So that's that's the plan. I hope that makes sense. Uh, what else was there? I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, I think that was it. I think that was it. I think that was it. I know there was something else, but I can't remember. Um, we will come back with another video when I when I've made up my mind when I'm going to enter these kind of thing uh, but yeah cheers guys